Yo, what's going on YouTube? Apox here, and welcome to the 8th episode for the Fully New Vegas Ultimate Modding Guide. This series is dedicated toward those of you who want the best and most stable modded games, and this series will walk you through step by step on how to achieve this goal. In this video, we'll be going over the user interface mods available and how to install them, all without the hassle of manually editing your any files every time you want to install a new one. Some of the UI mods that will be featured in this installation and discussion will include Darnified UI, OHUD, MTUI, and the Weapon Mod menu. Now before I dig into this episode, I'd like to take a quick look back at two recent episodes in this series that will help you with performance and stability for Fallen New Vegas. The first one being the installation for Fallen New Vegas 4 GB Enabler updated which will allow your game to use more virtual memory to give you better stability and better modding capabilities and the second video in which we discussed and went over the installation for the new Vegas Stutter Remover, which removes the annoying stuttering scene in both Follow 3 and Follow New Vegas, also known as Micro Stutters, and also the notorious 64Hz bug. However, now we're here with the 8th episode in this series discussing and showing you how to install some of the best and most popular user interface mods out there to this date. But without further ado, let's get right into this episode. Alright, so we're going to start this video off with UIO or User Interface Organizer, and the reason for that is because if you don't use this, then you're going to have to do a bunch of any edits manually, and it's just a giant headache, and it's literally, you're going to go through a bunch of problems doing that. So this basically just does everything automatically. So there are a ton of supported user interface mods here. I'll show you them all right now. Bam, currently supported mods. And you can choose out of there, and then if your user interface mod isn't there, I'm sorry, but you can go ahead and send this guy a message if you want, comment on the page, whatever you want to do. Uh, but anyways, this is a ton of them, and these are basically the only ones that I've ever used, so yeah, I don't think he's really missing anything here. So anyways, what you want to do is go down in the description below, all of these pages will be linked down in the description below, and once you're on this page, you want to go to Files, and hit download with manager. Now I'm downloading it with mod organizer and this is going to require a new Vegas script extender. I have a video on that. You can go and check out the previous videos in this series so that you can brush up on all your modding for full of new Vegas. But anyways, once you have new Vegas script extender installed, you can go ahead and hit continue with my download and then from there, I'm going to go ahead and open it up in mod organizer here. And as you guys can see, I already have it downloaded, so I can go ahead and just hit no. But anyways, once it's downloaded in Mod Organizer, you can see it here. Now, if you guys aren't using Mod Organizer, I definitely do suggest switching over. Uh, Gopher already has a video on how to switch over, but if you want me to make a video on it, I can definitely do that later on in this series or in a Mod Organizer series by itself. But for now, I suggest if you're using Nexus Mod Manager, the, the installation is practic or basically the same. So just go ahead and try to stay with me. So anyways, what you want to do is simply just install it from where you are. And I'm installing it with Mod Organizer, so you just double click it, you wait for it to install, and bam, it's installed. And then from there, we can start installing all of our beautiful HUD mods. Now, I already have the mod configuration menu installed because I'm going to be going over that in the next episode. But the reason why I already have it installed is because you do need it to actually make a bunch of edit changes to these HUD mods in game. So anyways, all the things I have installed right now is UIO, I have one tweak which is the windowed mode thing that we went over previously, I have New Vegas Stutter Remover, and I have Dynavision 3. So Dynavision 3 does use some of the HUD user interface, so we'll also be able to check that out. But in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to install these four mods right here, Darnified UI, one HUD, MTUI, and the Weapon Mod Menu by Pelinor. So, Anyways, let's go ahead and start it off with Darnified UI. Now, a lot of people get overwhelmed with the installation of Darnified UI New Vegas, and that is why I'm making this video mainly because I was one of those people, and I'm here to help you guys out with that. So the link for this, like I said, will be down in the description below. You want to make sure you come, come to this one, because I went to the wrong one before, and that's why the installation didn't work for me. So anyways, from here on this page, you just want to scroll down, 
just completely forget about all this for now. You want to make sure you keep this page open though because you are going to need this later on. So anyways, what you're going to want to do is actually hit download on this right here. You want to click this and then you can save it to your desktop or wherever. And then once you have it saved, you can go ahead and extract, extract it out. I'm just going to extract it so I can look at it really quick and bam, I'm just going to go ahead and quickly delete that. And what you can actually do is import it through adding a file in your mod manager. So if you're using Nexus mod manager, I'll quickly show you guys how to do that just in case you don't know already. Uh, so if you want to add a mod from a file in Nexus mod manager, all you have to do is hit this right here and then choose the file. But I'm using Mod Organizer, so let's go ahead and find it here. As you can see, D-U-I-N-B, it's version two. And we can go ahead and hit open. And what you're gonna wanna do is actually uh, do it manually, but I'm gonna quickly rename it, so one second. All right, so once you've renamed it to whatever you're liking, then you can go ahead and hit manual. This is something you're gonna have to do just to make, it, make sure it's set up correctly. And I suggest doing this and getting into the habit of doing this every single time with Mod Organizer anyway, just to make sure that everything is always set up correctly and as you guys can see everything is indeed set up correctly so you can go ahead and hit OK and then from there you can check it off and then what you want to do from here is you're actually gonna want to go ahead and install this right here it's called Darnified UI configuration and what you're gonna want to do is hit download with manager and go continue with my download and I actually already have this download, so I can go ahead and hit no. But if it was you, you would go ahead and hit yes. And as you guys can see, I have it right here, Darnified UI Configuration. And what this will actually do is do all of the steps for you. And it will actually change all the innies and everything for you. And just in case it doesn't work, I want you to go do this right now. What you're going to want to do is actually go back to the Darnified UI page. And you're going to want to copy this right here the fonts thing, you're going to want to copy all of it, hit control C on top of it after you highlight it. And then what you're going to want to do from there is you're actually going to want to go to every single place there's an any file for your game. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to my documents, go to my games, go to Fallout New Vegas, go to Fallout any. And what you're going to want to do from here is actually hit control F and type in fonts and hit enter. And then once it finds fonts, you go ahead and copy it all and hit paste. Now I've actually already made all the edits, so I don't know whether the configurator actually worked or not for me. Uh, but anyways, you want to go ahead and hit save. Now it's if it's not letting you save the settings, or if you go back into the file itself and it shows that it kind of reverted back to what it was previously, then what you want to do is actually right click, go to properties, and uncheck read me only or read only if it is checked but mine's unchecked so I'm all good so if we go ahead and right click this go properties you can see it's unchecked as well so anyways you want to open up follow prefs now hit control F again type in fonts hit enter and then you're gonna to wanna to highlight all this and paste it in like I said I already have that done and then you can go ahead and close that off. What you're gonna to wanna to do from here is actually go to your Fold New Vegas directory, which can be found in computer, local disk C, program files 86, Steam, Steam apps, common, and follow New Vegas. And then from here, what you're gonna to wanna to do is find follow underscore default, open that up, hit control F again, type in fonts. You're gonna to wanna to highlight all this again and hit paste. And then from there, what you're gonna to wanna to do if you have Mod Organizer is just to double check something. So if you have Mod Organizer installed, go into your Mod Organizer folder for that game, or for Fall in New Vegas, I should say. Go into Profiles, go into the profile that you're using, so I'm using default, and then go into Follow Prefs, hit Control F, type in Fonts, and as you can see, you wanna make sure that it's changed, it is. And then you can go into follow.ini, hit control F, type in fonts, hit enter. And then as you guys can see, it's already changed, but if it isn't, highlight it all and hit control V, and then save and so on. And then once all of that is set, you have Darnified UI installed correctly and you're all good to go. But I'm also gonna be showing you guys how to install a few other HUD mods here, so let's go ahead and do those right now. So let's go ahead and install one HUD or OHUD. This is actually by Gopher 
and this includes multiple of his HUD mods. So it includes iHUD, I believe, adjustable HUD, and extra HUD. So anyways, to install this, all you want to do is go to Files, go to the one HUD right here, and then Darnified one HUD. So as you guys can see, this is for the Darnified UI. So if you did install Darnified UI, you're gonna have to install this afterwards. So this is the patch. So what you want to do is actually install the one HUD first. So download with manager. And then I'm also gonna hit download with manager for this as well. And then let's go to mod organizer. Let's double click and install one HUD. Make sure it's set up correctly. And bam, it's installed. We can check that off. And then let's install the one HUD Darnified UI patch. We can actually hit manual just to make sure and hit OK. And then from here, what you're going to want to do is actually hit merge. So merging is basically where it replaces files that are already there, but it also adds new files if there are some. So this is what you want to do if you're updating files, but if you're completely replacing it with a new version, you would hit replace. But since we're adding files and adding an app update patch, you want to go ahead and hit merge. And once you've done that, installation successful. And now we have one HUD installed. We can go ahead and put it where we want. From here, let's go ahead and install MTUI by Maxtail. And this is actually a HUD mod that kind of increases the size of the actual menus themselves. So as you guys can see, it kind of changes the style a little bit and it increases what you can see. So it increases the size of the windows and so on. And it basically, the reason why I like this mod is just because it allows you to see so much more on screen. And this fits really well with Darnified UI because it kind of does the same because it changes the fonts to be a little bit smaller. So as you guys can see, it allows you to see a lot more. So, all right. So to install this is actually pretty basic. It's like all the other ones you go ahead and hit download with manager. And this is the whole reason for having UIO. It makes everything so easy. And let's go to mod organizer double click MTUI and as you guys can see it's not set up correctly so what we're gonna want to do is right click data and hit set data directory and bam it's set up correctly and we can go ahead and hit OK and we can check that off put it where we want and then from there let's go ahead and install the weapon mod menu by Pelinor and to install this all you want to do is go to files and hit download manually the reason for this is because he just doesn't have the download with manager option. So we can go ahead and hit download manually, save it to our desktop or save it to your downloads wherever you want it. And then I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that it's all set up correctly. As you guys can see it installs through a foam mod so let's go ahead and add this here. Find the file, the weapon mod menu, hit open. It's actually going to use a external installer. It detects NVSE, hit install, and bam, you now have the weapon mod menu. All right, so we're gonna go in game, check everything out. I'm gonna change my settings on Bandicam just so that I don't get massive frame drop like you guys may have seen in some of my previous episodes. But anyways guys, here we go. All right, so to make sure that you've installed the Darnified UI properly, just look at the bottom left once you launch the game and you should see this little Vault Boy icon that you didn't have before. And once you hover over it, it should say Fallout New Vegas and then the version, and Darnified UI New Vegas and then the version. It should be version 0.0.2, .0 and that tells you that you basically have it installed correctly. Now just to double check, you wanna go ahead and load up the game, and you can see right here, these little, little fonts right here. They're not the same as the vanilla fonts at all. And if we go ahead and load up a, our game, we can go ahead and make sure that we've installed all of our other HUD mods correctly. Now there are going to be probably a few bugs here and there with the different mods because there there's always different mods that have a little bit of bugs together. So say for Immersive HUD, for example, the AP and the HP and the compass and everything isn't working with Immersive HUD. So that's definitely something that I got to go and check out later on. But basically. This is everything installed all in one, and Immersive HUD is working with most stuff, as you guys can see, my crosshair is going to go away here in a few seconds, or at least, oh right, I have Immersive HUD enabled, there we go. So, as you guys can see, my crosshair is now gone, and it's all working nice and dandy. So if I go ahead and press escape, 
and have the mod configuration menu which I'm going to be going over in the next video and I'm also going to be showing you guys how to install it and anyways as you guys can see I've got all my options for all my different HUD menus here bam 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 as you guys can see we've got all this beautiful stuff let's go ahead and enable all this stuff here so that you guys can check it out and then something I gotta quickly do is make sure to enable some of this stuff here so that we can actually see it here so and as you guys can see we've got the nice beautiful clock at the top right there we've got our HP and our AP our compass and everything there still and then if we aim in we have the different stats right there so you can see the fatigue the radiation the sleep the nutrition the h2o so that's water and then we've got the weight and then honestly i don't know what those top four are so i really couldn't tell you um so anyways i'm going to qu quickly show you mtui and as you guys can see it looks a little bit different here the ui here and the background here it looks a little bit different it's not super noticeable but if we go into show me what you have for sale it's definitely noticeable the menu is much much longer and it definitely goes well with darnified UI because it allows you to see a ton more and it just mixes so well with darnified UI especially if you're one of those people like me I like to see as many things on screen at once so if we go into weapons and for example go into here as you guys can see it shows all the available mods and then it also allows you to enable them and disable them as well so I currently do not have any mods but that is the weapon mod menu and it's all nice and dandy all the UI mods are basically working perfectly together I'll probably go further into the installation in another video showing you guys how to get them working better together yeah that's that's basically it we're gonna be going over the mod configuration menu in the next video so anyways before I end off this video I'd like to ask you all another quick question for you to answer down in that lovely comment section below what mods would you like to see me showcase here on my channel they can be for Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, Skyrim, Oblivion and even the Grand Theft Auto titles let me know down in that lovely comment section below and your comment might just be featured in one of my future videos I actually have a ton already ready and lined up to be showcased here on my channel and I hope you all enjoy what is to come however that is sadly the end of this video thank you all for watching and if you enjoyed this video it would be super greatly appreciated if you could smack that like button down below and subscribe to join in the good fight with that said guys this has been epoxy and as always don't forget to stay sexy and stay gaming i'm out peace